have we got any no upgrades going down as of yet uh, still just continue to pump out units while this expansion finishes file on down here so he can walk in units on the low ground should he need to bunker con up there for Duxel I believe he might be a little bit paranoid after that uh, amount of units he saw at the top of the ramp there he probably wasn't expecting quite so much uh, he's transferred the SUVs perhaps a little bit early there that uh, uh, had to go back to the other base if he'd waited just a little bit longer this one would have been finished and they could have harvested straight to there straight away uh, but that's a minor minor problem it's not going to cost him anything at all so a perfect time to look at the resources here we've got Duxor with 77 food out of 102 and 70 supply for Protoss so it's very close there and if we look at the units tab we have got 40 SCVs and 40 probes so that's looking very very even and armies are just as even as well maybe slightly in favor of Duxor but that's not going to be a problem let's see if there's anything else going on in the Protoss base a robotics facility has gone down so now there could be some immortals for real but of course the observer is going to come out first of all and we've got two more gateways going down there so it looks like he's going to stick with the gateway units here oh and he has a phoenix what oh it's hallucinated do apologize i thought i didn't see a starport uh, but it was of course hallucinated he's going to get over there and have a good old scout with the uh Hallucinated Phoenix, and he's going to see exactly what's going on. Ghost Academy, factory with a tech lab, so he could be expecting tanks, and he's going to have a good look at those barracks also. So we've got another bunker being placed there, and the center tower, so uh, Duxel is definitely wanting to be able to hold this expansion off. This map can be very difficult to hold the expansion on, so he's hoping uh, that that could aid in that, I would assume and he does have both of the Zonaga watchtowers so if anything comes out which it looks like it is about to he is most certainly going to see it coming and the first tank is out there are we getting siege mode yet? Yeah, not just yet he can't afford it at the moment uh, once this expansion kicks in a little bit more maybe we will and we've got the observer coming over and it is going to see exactly what Duxor has sitting there and uh, it's going to be very useful for Yanlo there to know exactly whether or not it's a good idea to move out and try and put some pressure on uh, and of course the control of these towers once again will make sure that Ducks will seize anything coming but it looks like there's a big big force moving out across the map now uh, he will see it coming and he seems to be changing his mind a little bit about exactly where he wants to go uh, perhaps he's going to try and go around the back, I'm not sure, however, uh, there's many, many forces here for Duxor, uh, he's loading up those bunkers, although if he comes around the back it's not going to matter, uh, perhaps maybe just checking there wasn't a third expansion gone down yet, I don't know, it's a bit extreme to send all those units just to check, uh, he seems to be a little bit hesitant as to whether he wants to push yet, he's... Looks like that observer has been taken out there by Duxor and he's going to take out these rocks here and take a third expansion and I would think that the Protoss player will probably be gearing up to take a third expansion too, yeah. So it's very very close timing here, both players taking out these rocks and taking them for a first, uh, third expansion, sorry, do, excuse me, so We've got Zealot Charge being researched there and Weapons 1, another Observer to replace that one that got taken out and Duxor is starting to pump out the Ghosts now, uh, perhaps he'll be able to get some EMPs off and they will help. And do we have had Cease Tech is researched and um, we've got another Barracks, four Barracks now and a Starport with a Reactor, he's more than likely going to pump out a couple of Medivacs I believe and uh, if he sees a Colossus that will mean he's able to start pumping out Vikings uh, siege tanks being set up here he's taken out the rocks at the gold also but he has built his expansion at the one in the back here many many Terran players would like to get up a expansion at the gold base here and build a planetary fortress uh, but he hasn't done that 
and we've got a Colossus here on the field now for uh, Jan Lowe and will we see any Vikings being produced to counter that? Uh, not just yet. Uh, still doesn't seem to be anything being produced out of this starport as of yet. He has no air units at all by the looks of it. So uh, I'm not sure what that's all about. Oh, but they are engaging down here. Uh, it seems he has been caught in a very awkward position. And the Colossus is taking out all of his units. Zealots taking out the Marauders. He's going to try and retreat. Uh, he's still got some units stuck over here. Uh, he split his army a little bit there. And uh, the pit at Yanlo has completely taken advantage of that. Uh, he's got a good angle here to take on these tanks. Colossus is going to help. Uh, the ghosts there with an EMP were completely in the wrong place because they would have taken them out uh, much, much more quickly with that. And Duxor states Jeebus and GG. Uh, I don't think he was expecting that to happen quite like that considering the game was so even. But Jan Lowell takes the victory on Zonaga Cabins and check out my channel for the next match which I'll be casting in just a second. So I hope you enjoyed that one and uh, if you're a player who's in the bronze, silver, gold or platinum leagues in StarCraft 2 on the EU server then uh, do be sure to check out UKStarCraft.net and uh, you could get involved with this tournament in the next game, uh, in next week sorry. So. Uh, do check them out, ukstarcraft.net. Check me out, of course, ironhammers.org. Follow me on Twitter. My name is ironhammer5 there. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. We'll see you in game two.